Hello, in this lesson, I will show you how to remove the next screen using just x64 dbg. So if you want to try this first, please pause the video now and give it a shot. So let's get started. When we run the CrackMe16 program, you will see a next screen. So how do we get rid of this next screen? Now let us uh, open this with x64dbg and then we are at the entry point so let's run it and you see the next screen pops up immediately put a pause to pause the debugger and then click on the call stack and then look for the user module which usually begins 004 ok so it's here 004 now right click on this click follow from and you are now here now if you scroll up you will see the last call and the last call was the call to a message box so this is the message box which uh, you see when you first start the program this message box So we can put a breakpoint here and then restart and confirm by running and we pause at the breakpoint. So this confirms that this is indeed the message box, message box and we don't want this message box to show so we can no op it. We put no op and since the instruction is smaller by 4 bytes, we need to Make sure this is checked. Click OK. Close. And now if you run. Let's run. Straight away the program terminated. It didn't show the main window. By right it should show the main window. So what went wrong? So let's restart again. And this time, after putting the out, we're going to trace the call. So we make sure the same knob is there and now we are going to trace the call. Trace the call until we come to a point where the window terminate. So in order to keep track of which lines we have already traced through, we can use a feature called trace record. So click trace, click trace record, select word. So now we press F8, just keep on pressing F8 until the program terminates. All right. So the program has terminated, now we restart and if we click uh, um, run, we will see the message box here. So we click no up here as usual. And now you can see all the green part. These are all the history of the trace. So we can see that we in the previous run, we managed to trace until here and then the program terminate. So we know for sure this was the last call just before the program terminated. So now here we can see the function name VBN. So this is the thing that caused the program to terminate. And just before it, there's a jump. So put a breakpoint here. I suspect this is the jump which did not happen. That's why it went on to call this function to end the program. So if we can put a breakpoint here, we can know for sure. So we put a breakpoint here and we restart the program and run. Assemble a knob here. Click OK. And now press F8 to go to this line. Or you can just press run to go straight there. So now you see it is not jumping. Therefore, it is going to go to here and exit. So we want it to jump so we can assemble a jump directly by putting JMP and then instructions the same size so it's good, click OK and so now it's supposed to jump directly over this alright and then now we can uh, press F8 I'll just run directly 
and true enough we got rid of the next screen so we are right so we, what we can do now is go back to our um, restart here and then go back here and let's patch this permanently type no op and here patch this with jump click ok alright now we can patch it make it permanent file patch file patch and then give it the name same name but we put patch at the back I will spell it uh, patch with an X and click save okay so now we run our patch patch the reason why I put PAX here instead of PAT is because if you put PAT then it will when you run it it will ask you to the UAC will ask you to elevate this to be administrator so I put PAX okay let's run it now and you see there is no next screen so we managed to uh, get rid of the next screen using the x64 dbj so that's all for this lesson i'll see you in the next one